long story short. Okay. Bye. <laughs> of pocket tissue packets of tunes. These have a rat on them. I want you to uh, hand them to, out to people around the town. Just anyone who looks like they're killing time, you don't have to give them. To anyone who looks like they're walking somewhere. Costume shops and cafes on the other side of the station. Just be sure to help the people there.
HUD. And just moving. I'm the owner of this establishment, and even though this cafe is a chain, I absolutely refuse to serve mediocre coffee. I will sacrifice my standards for no one. I've got an older brother. I don't keep in contact with him much nowadays, but <laughs> I cause him quite a bit of trouble. He became a Buddhist monk following in our family tradition, but he's socially awkward. I wonder how he's doing. Sorry about that. When I start reminiscing, I have a hard time controlling myself. Drink up. It's a sublime cup of coffee. No, it's more than that. It's an experience. If you underestimate it, it'll break you. getting dumb. Now it's, it's sharply acidic, yet the body is full and rich with sweet undertones. This flavor is bold. Too bold. <laughs> As you're swept up in the black torrent of flavors, you desperately reach towards something and just grasp it. Taint the Dia skill card? What? Card icon will be displayed in persona status and screen skill. Green coffee, when you have a persona equipped that knows a skill with this card icon, you can obtain a card with that skill. If the persona has no skills with the card icon shown, you will not gain a skill card. Huh. Guess your palate was overstimulated by mature flavor succumbed. You're still a child. Okay. Sure. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. <laughs> Harvest. Dachi?
Yosuke went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. Yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time, it was King Moron. Oh. King Moron? You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? W why What on earth is going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. Damn it! We came so far and now we're back to square one! Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Did you really give up? Damn straight! We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. We give up now? And that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Kanji kun. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I know. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. And we promised the bear, too. Hey, that's right! Maybe Teddy knows something about this. Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. Huh? There's staff here? Now that's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. Oh my god. Is there some kind of campaign on today? Mascot? He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry? Eddie? Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Please don't tell me. Whoa! He's here! Ah, this really hits the spot. What the? I mean, how'd you? It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Of course I can come out. There's an exit. It just never occurred to me to do it before. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. I did wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back, so I waited here for you. Oh, someone asked for my name, so I told them, I'm Teddy. So that's why. Oh yeah, there's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> and your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone! That's why I came over here! But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. I believe you. Oh, Sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. Well, it's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. 
And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Moron was never on that side? <sighs> What's going on? Hey, hey, I want to go somewhere. Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you want to go, anyway? I want to give this to Risei-chan. It's for her. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. So I'm going to fight alongside you with everything I got. Don't think of me as the same cute little teddy. I'm an all-new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Today begins the new legend of Teddy! Wow, a new legend. Huh. Okay. Uh-oh, people are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Okay, just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Nobody was over there, except for you, until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel, either. What's up with that? No clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Then what? He was killed over here? Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? Never intended to. They never intended to? So you're saying he wasn't like the other victims to begin with? But why? Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Oh, I get you. That could be it. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Risei-chan's up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. <sighs> it's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Cut it out! There's kids watching! Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. Got a little consideration, man. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. Uh, can I... Can I feel it? No! Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear! <laughs> I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan. And now I finally have an inside! Uh... Yeah, good job with that. Oh, come on, can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you, I'm not hollow anymore! <sighs> It's too hot! I can't stand it! Uh, M&A. Uh, it's so hot! Oh! What the? My. Now that hit the spot. What the fuck? Hey, Chie chan, Yuki chan. Yes? Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. My god, Daddy. Teddy? Is that really you? Uh... Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Then don't, don't take the bottom part off. You need some 
clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. That's Teddy? He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like, he grew himself a body in there? What kind of creature would do that? I mean, what is he? <sighs> what the fuck is going on? <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh, hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? I was so shocked that I lost track. Let's head over to Rise's place. As. Oh my god, the fuck? Alright, well. Cool. Going over to Rise's house. Cool. It's finally the season for topsicles again. Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. Sorry we're late. How did it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? The oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Same kind of thing. Uh, don't encourage him. I have to say, it totally blew my mind. But he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form. Got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. <laughs> oh, man. If you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? Huh? What are you asking me for? Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. Oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> You'll have to forgive, Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. Oh, my God. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well. Thousand yen built kanji. Here, Kanji, get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow, you're rich. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. Whoa, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. I'm glad Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. Nice. Charge? What? You put it on my account? Ah, oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. What else were we supposed to do? That stuff was expensive, even for Juness. You seriously charged it to me? Why would you do that? You know I just bought a motorcycle, I'm broke. So, if you're already broke, a little more debt isn't gonna make much of a difference. What? 
Come on, baby. Stop fighting no Shut up! This is your fault, you know. Ah! You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Yo, Teddy. Don't let it get you down. Let's go get some topsicles. Let's go on ahead. I think they're going to be a while. Ah, oh, I had a feeling you'd come. You're... Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Rise Kujikawa now? Jeez, why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Huh? Wait, you're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Muraoka has never appeared on television. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Well then, until we meet again. Who is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Oh, hi. Risei-chan, are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Huh? Sure, okay. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Ah, Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh. He's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Like, they found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Um, so... Hmm? What's up? Um, I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Huh? Oh, you don't have to thank us. Dude, she's so cute. Man, it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are Rizette. Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do what comes naturally. Thanks, Chie. I think everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just one. <laughs> it sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? Mm. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. 
Oh, yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Um, you don't have to take them, but... Well... Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, all right? I do owe you my life, so, you know. <laughs> well, if you put it that way. <laughs> is that what you'd say to a super cute idol like me? This sure is a rough time to transfer here, though. The kidnappings, King Moron's death. All that and exams are soon, too. Oh, exams. Now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be cancelled. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Alrighty then. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Yo, how's it going? Dude. Teddy ate five topsicles. Though if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six. So I still win. No one asked. We're all done talking already. Let's go, senpai. Uh, when did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> so, where's Teddy? He's over there, finishing up his fifth Topsicle. What are we gonna do with him? Well, I guess I'll take him home. What the fuck is going on? Teddy? Good evening. This is Nightline News. Our top story for the night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. The serial murder case in Inaba has claimed a third victim. The news shocked local residents, who have not seen another murder in three months, and assumed the spree had reached its end. The deceased taught at a local high school. Since his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last two victims, What's wrong? Was it... someone you know? <gasps> he died? Nico seems scared. I'm here with you. I'm alright. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. The police will be pursuing this line of inquiry and are planning to begin a large-scale investigation tomorrow. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. Dad won't be coming home again today. Try another magic trick! Yes! Move a finger on your right hand. Do your left hand! Let's do it again! Do it again! Move a finger on your left hand. To the right hand! Shit! <laughs> oh my god, what is this game? What is this game? I don't understand. Hey, how did you do that? Tell me, tell me! Gosh. A 
Oh, hello. Welcome. It's been quite some time. Been called to the velvet room. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. How are things proceeding? Are you gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? Uh, I don't know. Indeed. The fog clouding your path is thick. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance to help you achieve just that. Fusing personas. Have you been using our services diligently? Oh, I don't know. I've only been here every single time that I, you know, level up. The aid we will henceforth provide is an advanced form of fusion. Oh. I speak of the power to fuse four or more personas at once. I am quite certain that this will enable you to command even stronger powers. Now, your journey will soon reach its climax. And as a result, many challenges, which I cannot foresee at present, await you. Most interesting. <laughs> Well, until we meet again, farewell. Can I take Maggie with me? Okay, never mind. All right, okay, cool. Yo! Still can't believe it. Our homeroom teacher was killed. I couldn't get that much sleep yesterday. How about you? Are you right? We start getting depressed over something like this, we'll never catch the killer, huh? Oh yeah, this means we'll be getting a new homeroom teacher. I wonder who will be. Well, I'm pretty sure that they won't be able to find anyone worse than King Moron. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. Good morning. I'm Noriko Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting today. You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you instead. <laughs> I feel uncomfy. Okay. Why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka? Close your eyes, everyone. I... Uh... That should be enough. Okay. <laughs> I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Nori-chan. Oh, it must be tough for you, but that's what it means to become an adult, little by little. I already can't stand her. <laughs> First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? How much worse can it get? Oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? In person? <laughs> She's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? What's so great about an idol anyway, right class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Rise's pinup book. That sounds kind of pervy. He annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. Oh, you know what? Rosette was on a strip tease show. Huh? A strip tease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. 
I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. You actually believe that crap? How friggin' dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming it. The rumor about the Midnight Channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Finals are next week. <sighs> It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Yeah, if by a while you mean all the time. Shut up! When you've ever seen my scores? But she always has above average marks in the subjects that she doesn't fail. <laughs> Good job, Yukiko. Hey, hey, why'd you tell him? My scores just vary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Say, John, you too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just, I thought it would take me a while to make any friends at my new school. Too bad we met under such awful circumstances. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think about King Moron's case? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. My nose isn't as sharp now, but I can tell that much. But they found the body on a foggy day again, right? They said on the news that that crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki-senpai. I really wonder about the culprit's motives. Why was Mr. Moraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal. Because there's way too many people who ate a King Moron's guts. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV, I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. Huh. <sighs> you sound like you speak from experience, Rise-chan. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Arr, I don't get this at all. Man, two victims in a row from our school. That's got to set off the police's alarm bells. They're not going to leave any stones at school unturned. You know, to be honest, somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High. But we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die. But now, I feel bad that I doubted him. He was a capital A asshole. But that doesn't justify killing him. And not just King Moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what! Well, we'll do what we can. For King Moron's sake, too. At this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? So why don't we split up and... That won't be necessary. Y you There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Why's that? Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. What? They found a suspect? Who is it? As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high schooler. It isn't public knowledge yet, but he isn't a student of your high school. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. I expect it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved, and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. The suspect is a high schooler? All right, so why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? Your game will soon reach its end. I felt I should at least let you know that. It's not a game. 
You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Well, no matter. I have no reason to say anything further. A game? Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? <sighs> I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. What could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus, we made a promise. Y Yosuke. A game. That may be quite true. Why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests. And we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case, either. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services are required. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. Uh... What was that about? He just said his piece and left? I bet that I'm going to get arrested. Hmm... He said they have a suspect, but is this really gonna solve everything? <sighs> Who knows? Finally out. Dominator 2. Yeah, baby. But I hate going to Okina all by myself. So if you go, call me up and we'll see it. Okay, cool. Right. Yep. Shot me right around. Blessed hands, special healing for you. Giant candy, 39,000. Growth to a little shortcut for hard studiers. Blessed hands, but yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Understanding, understanding. Knowledge and expression. Knowledge and courage. More when translating. Understanding when more when holding cranes. I'll do the pox way. for you, you know. 
Once they're over, summer vacation isn't far behind, right? Shut up, puny underclassmen. I have to study for my college entrance exams. Once you're a third year student, you'll get a taste of what it's like to take tests all year. Cool. Good for you, mate. Finals are starting next week. If you fail, you'll have to attend our lovely scummers. Today we're going to talk about sex linkage. Sex linkage inheritance is dependent on allosomers. To say it simply, it's genetic inheritance that's caused by whatever decides if you're male or female. And for those calico cats, calico cats are almost entirely female. Not that there aren't any boys, but apparently there's only one out of every several tens of thousands. Hey, these are male calicos. Or maybe these rare male calicos are very popular with the ladies. Cool. Start on Tuesday next week. Study. Sure. You know the ingredients to make pudding. You decided to make pudding. Give it some sense. Vanilla ice cream, cologne, or a vanilla extract. Oh my gosh. yourself under your umbrella. Thank you. Thank you. I could find my folding umbrella. It's odd because I always have one in my bag. Oh, did I use it when I was with J.A.? Um. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Now I'm a little nervous. What if people start to talk? Oops. Give it nine days. <laughs> oh, because in nine days until summer vacation. Yeah, it's fine with me. Whatever. <laughs> really? If it's alright with you, I guess it's just fine with me too. <laughs> just kidding. I hope it stops raining by the time school gets out. See, I don't give two shit about people talking and shit. Whatever. Eat lunch with someone. Uh... at all. What a dilemma. Did you make this for me? Thank you. You all seem really sad. I know it's tough. I still can't believe Mr. Maruaka has was taken from us. 
faculty office is still in shock too. We can't stop about it all day. Today, we're gonna put the physical back in education. We're gonna play rugby. Don't even think about getting lazy because it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. But run. Keep running. Sweat. And then eat shaved ice. Because the shaved ice you eat after exercise is the best. Braid freeze. Ah, yeah. You seem to be cool. You seem to be cool, Kablooey. Answer me while running. What is the medical term for brain freeze? Uh... Seem like uh, intercranial. Uh, th that that doesn't no. I think it's it's got to be these either of these two because intercranial. That that no. And then neurocapillary? What the fuck is that? I know this one. Hey! You eat something cold like shaved ice. It constricts the flesh around the trigeminal nerve. That's the nerve that tells your brain that your forehead hurts, and so you think your forehead hurts. Alright, I can see you're all sweating hard. The more you sweat, the better the shaved ice will be when you're done. Huh. Cool. I think. See if she is available. No, she's not. Oh, I can finally. But okay. Now I can talk to the the, the guy in the classroom because I, I I asked all three questions. Okay, cool. Thanks. Alright, well, I guess I'll, uh... I guess I'll hang out with, uh, you kick up. Oh! Some change what's posted up here. Every year. Yes! Came out well, so I packed it up. Try it out. Looks normal. For some reason, and I usually pungent spell hangs in here. See? Yeah. yeah. Seems you have no choice but to eat it. You started with the omelet looking thing. Actually, so there's something. Too hard to bite on side, inside, and it smells burnt yet raw. You worry that your body will reject that the foreign matter. You're finally able to swallow it. You're not about to tell me how delicious that was, are you? You go look sad. If there's only next time. Suppose. Thank you. What are you doing? Ah, Nanako-chan, 
well, I was just having him try my box lunch. Oh, I want some. I'm sorry, but I can't give you any. It's, it's not good. Oh. If you make a good one, will you let me have some? Hmm? Uh, sure, if you want. Oh. I'm rooting for you. Hanako-chan. Thank you. Thank you. I'll do my best, okay? I need to go now. I'm going to my chan's house. Bye. Be careful. Uh, I'm sorry to drag you around. I'm having fun. Really? I'm going to your bed. Holy crap, hell yeah. Uh, this one may be a little aggy now. Aggy low. Only about a year left, huh? to be able to do some anything on my own by then. I'll see you later. You're back. You're home. What? You're working part-time in the evenings? Hey, I'm your garden, you know? I think I'm going to allow you to do something like this. You should. You seem rather composed about it. Well, yeah, you can probably get away with it because you have no intention of doing anything bad. Sheesh. Alright, I'll allow it. I believe you. It's better than having you sneak out, sneaking out behind my back. But even though this is a small town in the countryside, there's a lot of chances to get into trouble. Watch out. It's a promise. Got it? Ah. Uh. Newspaper article? Oh, yeah, I, I found it. Were you worried about it? about Chisaso. Chisato, my wife. And she was killed by a hit and run. I told you before, right? About the case where we never had a suspect. Get it now? There's nothing more I can say about it in this house. Let's stop there. school. It was a cold day. There were no witnesses, so they didn't find her until much later. So they got word to me Nanako was waiting all that time at the nursery. All alone. Waiting for a mother who would never come. I couldn't tell Nanako that her mother was killed father, whose job is to catch criminals, couldn't find a single lead. But I haven't given up. I'll catch the guy. I don't need a private life to do that. Nanako will understand.
Is this what she wants? Hmm. Even if it's not what she wants now, she'll understand someday. I have to tell myself that. Sorry. Leave me alone for now. Koto. Thanks. Hey, you're welcome, Detective Daddy. Sure, you're all feeling anxious knowing your homeroom teacher is deceased. Well, to be honest, us teachers are kind of afraid ourselves. We're still on the loose. But there's no sense wasting time moaning about it. Let's get to work. Today, we'll talk about Kobo Daishi, or Kuakai. Kuakai. First, look at this kanji. Hey, Haso chan. Isn't that a misprint? Textbook? It's supposed to be. <laughs> Good eye! But no. This is the wrong kanji. But the word is supposed to print this way. It's actually quoting, hmm? Kodochan. Quit staring at the puppet and pay attention to the book. Which famous high end era monk famously used a wrong version of the new kanji? That was Kuakai. That's right, it was Kuakai. We were listening after all. There's an old saying. Even Kobo made mistakes in writing. Kobo is another name for Kuakai. This was the mistake he made. This happened when he wrote the name Aotaman. Uh, I'm so butchering everything I'm saying right now. On the frame of the Alton Gates in the city of Kyo. But it wasn't until after they put the frame up that he noticed that he missed the dot on the top of the lewd character. Instead of taking the entire thing down to redo it, it added the dot by throwing his calligraphy brush at the gate. By the way, my wife made this doll for me by hand. Don't you think she did a great job making it look like me? Cool. All right. Hello, Chair. Come on. You know what? Yeah. Uh, go later. Yeah. Let's see what my other options are. Can I hang out with Yasuke? Okay, not much. Um, I guess we'll go to the velvet room. See what's up with the new fusing power I have. <sighs> Oh. 
Huh? Mary. I'm surprised. I didn't think you were interested. Look, I'm sure you already know, but why don't you take me somewhere? Small, it's dark, nose never says anything. It's stuffy in here. Really not supposed to leave the room, but Margaret said it would be okay if I went with you. Never mind. So will you take me somewhere? Don't you think you're giving in too easily? I'll have you twist it around my finger if you keep this up. Twist it around my finger. That's the saying, right? I've been studying. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> I can finally breathe now. Stuffy in that car. No, I feel weird. It's like nostalgic for the smell and all. What smell? Yeah, I can't really say why. I just get the feeling. There's a lot of stuff that I've never noticed before. Hey. Hey, lady. Uh, I want one of those skewer things. Oh, hello. That that'll be a uh, 320 yen, please. It's difficult to say. We had a twin. It's hard to say. You can't eat without money. For it. Huh? You have money? That's awesome. You're awesome. What's up? Yo, Makoto. You getting your steak on, huh? Oh, she's cute. What? What's going on here? Who is this? She's a friend. Friend. I guess. I don't know. Ah, I see. A friend, you say, huh? Oh yeah, I I'm Yasuke Hanamura. Uh, I'm his friend. His partner, you know? Partner? You mean like a close friend? <laughs> <laughs> that about sums it up. What's your name? Huh? Uh, Mary. Hmm. Mary Sean, is it? You want a steak skewer? All right, this one's on me. You mean you'll buy it for me? Is that okay? Great. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I got a little extra in my la my last paycheck. Three steak skewers, one for each of us. Oh my. Business is boofing. Uh, just a moment, please. Whew. Is that a belly full or what? This place always has huge portions. So, Mary Chan, what do you think of the local specialty? It's really weird. It's tough. Hard to bite into. It got cold while I was still eating it. It was delicious. Oh, uh, that's good. Didn't sound like you liked it at the beginning there. Well, all's well ends, well. Hey. Hey, 
Why is it called steak anyway? Is it short for something? <laughs> short for steak. Steak? That's stupid. Might as well just call it steak. That's what I am going to do. Uh, that isn't much better. And you! Don't tell her lies! She's believing it! You eat this every day? No fair. I should have come earlier. Whoa! Ah, crap! I have my key back in my locker at work. I forgot to go back to Juness. Uh, see you later, Makoto. Uh, you too, Mo Mary chan Your partner is a funny person. And that he is. Hmm. He bought me meat. That makes him a good person. That is a fact. Hey, let's go somewhere else. Somewhere with a nice view. Several times in which you lost Mary the moment you took your eyes off her, you managed to bring her here. Oh. Hmm. It's really green here. Green and green. Some brown and d darker green? Leaves are green fly leaves of green fly away. Farewell to you, clouds of the sky. I fly as well, lost this day. Farewell to you, moon of the night. Mary is murmuring something to herself. Whatever it is, it rhymes. Good observation, me. I said no. No, I... I wasn't making up a poem. It's just some words that I was thinking. That's all. Yeah. Shut up, I hate you, stupid jerk. Don't snoop on me. Mary is blushing. Wow, it's pretty big. I don't know why, but I feel good about this place. It reminds me of something. Are there any other places we can go? I want to see more. I'll show you around. Please do. I know it's a lot of things when I'm with you. It's pretty fun. The Aeon Agana. Alright, next! Where to now? See ya. Welcome back. GA yeah. Of course I love to hang out with the GA Alright, that's the lesson about Mariana Islands. Let's take a breather and talk. 
talk about something fun. The Mariana Islands are in the area of the ocean where typhoons are born. There's a line on the map that typhoons can never cross. Let's see. Kodokun, you've blended into this class a little too well. Which line can a typhoon never cross? Typhoon is a... Can it, can it never cross the equator? Because the, the equator... No... No... I... Mm, I don't know... Because uh, the equator is where it's hottest on the Earth. Is it not? Okay, cool. Moved by a global air current called atmospheric circulation. If one forms in the northern hemisphere, it moves north. If it moves in the south, it forms in the south, it moves south. That's why a typhoon can never cross the equator. Make sure you tell your parents that I'm an interesting teacher, okay? Feedback like that affects my paycheck. Just kidding. Let's move on to the next lesson. Yo, Chia Chan. You on the roof? Gotta be on the roof. Yep. Cool, yo. Yep. Yep. Have you had the steak skewers? meat is tender and delicious, and they hardly cost anything. Mightn't I even be cow meat? It's just kidding. Whoa, thinking about it, that's kind of gross. <laughs> um, the police are here. Then, is this place really serving fake meat? Excuse me. Yes? I haven't eaten any of the meat today, I swear. Lately, there's been several incidents with a group of teenagers bullying people around here. Huh? Bullying? Extortion, if you will. Have you seen anyone suspicious? No. No one in particular. Hmm, I see. Well, you two be careful, then. Hmm. I'm glad it wasn't the me. Still. Bullying? What cowards? Ganging up on the weak like that? Exactly. So cruel and stupid. We'll grab them and make them apologize. Right, leader? Of course. <laughs> You'd say that. Mowing down villains and saving the weak. Lone female fighter stands. To protect the town's peace, she throws herself into the battlefield, unbeknownst to all. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. <laughs> Cut a coon. Leave it to me. So I feel better about it if you helped. Make me kinda happy. Critical rate on all players. Better than Rebellion, I guess. Uh, 
All right, first, let's eat. Don't think, feel. Right? It, actually, in this case, would it be don't think, eat? Feel. Oh my gosh, Jay. Such a beautiful. You're back. Hey. Ah. That guy the police are after? I wonder what he's like. How's the investigation going? I, I can't stop worrying about it. Speaking of worrying about things, we have a test coming up next week. But I can't study when I'm thinking about our investigation. Oh god! I guess you're right. How am I supposed to argue with that? That's our lesson on the Saxon Wars that Charlemagne brought about during the 8th and 9th centuries. Speaking of Charlemagne, the King of Hearts and a deck of cards is supposedly modeled after him. The King of Hearts has a characteristic that the other kings don't. I wonder if any of you know what it is. Stand up. Tell me what makes the King of Hearts look different than the other kings in a standard deck of cards. Uh, I actually know this. He has no mustache. The, he, the, yeah, yeah, he has no mustache, yeah. King of Hearts is the only one without a mustache. Back then, playing cards were made using the same methods as books, by etching and engraving. It said a clerk's hand slipped, and the resulting mistake with this chisel shaved off the mustache. Since then, that design has become commonplace, and so the King of Hearts is simply drawn without a mustache. A great example of one small mistake making its way into history. You never know where those little doodles you make on your answer sheets will end up in the future. Senpai. Can you match just the right time? The test coming up covers a lot of subjects. I won't be able to study in enough unless you help me. Sure. Don't laugh at me even if I get it wrong. Oh, I don't even come closer to reset. Okay, cool. Thanks. Welcome home. Oh, <sighs> da Purple suit. Shock deflecting suit. The giant candies. Diamond shield times two. Heavy suit. Um, okay. Oh, good. Purple 
the suit then. Check on that woman. Yup, there she is. Take some cabbage. We'll take some bacon. Cool. I guess I'll. So we'll see who's available. If not, I'll talk to Mary. Oh, Mary. How are you? Go. Let's see who else is available. Blah, blah, blah. Interesting, but Yukiko is part of my team. So. Oh, um, notebooks, three colors of pens, a piece of paper, labels at the stationery department, and the furniture department. Look at the desks, those and the lamps. Can, can carry all that? Hmm. Definitely can't carry a desk. I wonder how long it would take to arrive if I had it delivered. Thinking of staying seriously for a job license. Though I haven't decided on exactly which one I'll pursue. But I was thinking of trying for all the ones I feel like can I've started working at night. See? Yep. Remember the job you told me about? Thanks to that, I have some money. Huh? Well, if it isn't the manager of the Amagi Inn, or should I say, the manager to be. I see you haven't come, gone home yet. Well, I can't very well go anywhere until the next bus or train departs. This really is the boonies. Stuck here with nothing to do. Man, the countryside is dumps. I beg to differ. Turning down sweet deals is part of country life too, is it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Those people are from some TV station. They wanted to cover the Amagi in. Is I'm it? sorry. Sorry. Yukiko seems embarrassed. It's a news of the weird show. Real journalism. You know that our inn was associated with Miss Yamano's murder, right? I want to make a special called Hot Springs Getting Too Hot for the Omagis. It was an aberrant title. Lose 
customers and they didn't really want to close the stores. And <sighs> I'd better feel I'd feel better about leaving. Are you serious? I'm serious. Better dark way. But you're right, there's no real point in saying things like that. I'm leaving under my own power. My life is in my own own hands now. But of course I want to help everyone. <laughs> you too, for being such a patient listener for all the time. Let's get shopping. First is stationary department. I feeling I should have just gone with Mary. Alright. Harvest veggies. From expert to professor. Expression and increase as well. Coolio. Ocean day. Cabbage was cheap, so I bought it without thinking. But how do you cook cabbage? I think I might be eating it for a while. I don't even have time to cook seriously these days. What with how busy I am. Good for you, mate. What should we do today? Alright, let's go. Go to the club. Teddy's already a level 35, the fuck?
Alright, well, I definitely don't need to... There are two enemies. Careful now. Electricity will... Two enemies left. Don't lower your guard now. Careful. Soda. on this end. Beat it to a pulp. Keep going, guys. <laughs> Come on down. Last one. Go for it. Soda. <laughs> what the fuck? Quite beat it. Oh. 
<laughs> Come on down! It ain't going down! Soda! Couldn't quite beat it. Yeah! <laughs> Soda! It ain't going down! Kanji's acting weird. Can someone help him? Soda! I can't defeat it. Last one. Go for it. There are two... Come on! Take this! Two enemies left. Don't lower your guard now. Soda! Enemy down. That's nice move, cool. senpai. You hit the enemy's weakness. There's three enemies. They're totally open. Enemy down. Let me concentrate. There. I think we saw Yukiko Senpai's true colors. Spirit Chie Senpai. Don't tell me it's not working. Come here, Take Mikazuchi. Enemy down. We Have can at it. Bring it on. on the field. Soda. Crush him. Enemy down. You're nice doing well, move, senpai. <laughs> you hit the enemy's weakness. Oh. Now Dan's ready. Bring it on!
There are three enemies. Don't get cocky. <laughs> You're doing down. well! Nice move, Senpai. <laughs> Go, Senpai! You rock! Go for it, guys! Hang in there! Just two left! Get him, Chiron! This fight's not over! Huh? It's over already? Two enemies. Go for a free hit. What the fuck? Beat it to a pulp. Keep going, guys. I've proven my manhood. Is the strictly support? GA. All right. This is it. One enemy on the field. You can do it. <laughs> Just what I'd expect. Here's our chance. Okay. Give it up.
There's one enemy. You get a feel hit. Feel. There are three enemies. Don't get cocky. Right? Just what I'd expect to be some high. Go for it, guys. Hang in there. Don't get caught. Yukiko Senpai's acting weird. There are three enemies. Don't get lucky. Three enemies left. You can win this. <laughs> There's so Two enemies Fantastic, down. Fantastic, Kanji. Take them out, Kanji. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that from you, Kanji. Sweet. Beat it to a pulp. Keep going, guys. Yeah. All right, Senpai. on the field. Be careful. Come on! Take this! Someone finish it off! It's over! Yeah. Three enemies down! Oh, also weak to Our enemy! It will end here!
enemies, uh, but you have the advantage. Ice free. Yep. Two enemies left. Don't lower your guard now. Yeah, I'd rather GA again. Come on! Yeah. Looking sharp, you ain't holding back. Take this. Enemy down. Okay. Give it Four enemies on the field. These guys are. Yep. Four of them. You need to thin them out. Really? Another level! Gotta keep at it! Three enemies on the field! Be careful! Persona! Keep going, Senpai!
They're wide open. <laughs> Enemies, you cut him off. Got five enemies left. Hang in there. Persona. Enemy down. All right, nice it up. move, Senpai. Electricity will. There are three enemies. Here! 
enemies, but I see. Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. Enemy down. Keep it up, Chie. Chie Senpai. You hit the enemy's weak. Okay. Three enemies on the field. Be careful. Let's go, Tomoe! Right on, you ain't Senpai. holding back. You're doing good. Take this. Enemy down. Go, go! You did it, Chie Senpai. Wind's useless on this enemy. Go, Chia Senpai, go! Kick their ass! Chia ah! Senpai, come on, get up! Well then. There! Don't be persistent! That was great! You're the man! Persona! Enemy down! Just oh, damn ready! Four enemies, they're wide open. Yikes, it's tough. Four of them, you need to thin them out. Yukiko Senpai? Boy, it looks good kill. <laughs> Oh, here I go! Here's our let's do it! Ha! on the field. Be careful. Three enemies left. You can win two remaining. Yeah. 
It ain't going Just down! Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. Put me down. Nice move, Senpai. Oh. Nice. Persona! <laughs> It's Just my on the field. Be careful. Come on! Take it! Enemy down. Get him, Chie. Get Chie, senpai. Take it! Enemy down. Keep it up, Chie. Get Chie, senpai. Yeah. It got back up. Defeat it fast. Them. Don't give up now, okay? Huh. I wasn't expecting that from you, Kanji. Sweet. <laughs> Two enemies left. Don't Come lower on. your guard now. Oof, that looked Keep like it, it hurt. Up, GA. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh, wait a second. Mary's not there. If you're looking for Mary, I sent her on an errand. She should be back soon. Or did you send her? Please, don't be sick of her. Sir, this errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who reside within the Velvet Room. I would never allow her to roam your world freely by herself. Oh. What is that? She must have dropped it. Seems a piece of paper belongs to Mary. There was something written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. Huh. Wait, no! Frantically snatches the paper away from you. What is this? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Did you look? Huh? Show you? Stupid pervert sleaze ball, I hate you! Why would I show you? This isn't... This isn't meant for you to see. Blushing furiously. Just, just forget this happened. All of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep, sleep! You didn't see anything. Now wake up. <laughs> this is quite an interesting reaction. What is... Is what is on the paper really that embarrassing? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Excuse us. Now, once again, welcome to the Velvet Room. Welcome, my butt. That was close. Oh. 
It's so not worth it. Stony is so good to me right now. They're wide open. You can win this. It's weak. Four of them. You need to thin them out. Virtue! You're doing Enemies well! Down. You did it, Senpai! <laughs> Look at you, Teddy! You're rocking it! Chie Senpai. Here goes Sakuya. We have oh. a fight. It will end here. But you have the advantage. <laughs> I Two can't enemies defeat left. it. Don't lower Two your guard now. It's tough. Oh. Persona, there. <laughs> we be gone. Excellent! 
Moment. There are two enemies. Careful now. Persona. Enemy down. Ooh. Okay, okay. Take this! Aha! Let's do it! Give it Two enemies. Careful now. Ooh. You okay, Senpai? Hang in there. Ooh, you're up. Time for a counterattack. There are two enemies. Go for a free hit. Persona. Two enemies. Persona! <laughs> Two Keep enemies it up. down! Keep going, Senpai! Teddy, keep
Keep it up. Ha! Enemy defeated. That's the spirit, Chie Senpai. You can. I couldn't do it. One enemy to go. Keep it up. I can't defeat it. Yikes, it's tough. You're so persistent. Soda. Beat it. You need to watch your... Exam time, woohoo. Hmm. Morale, cheerful 
Unless in a group. I can die is... Oh, yeah, balance beam. First in my went bonus pay. That was amazing. Rich King in a deck of cards. That's King of Hearts. And better read. That's Pascal. Piss. Yeah, pipe pipe, whatever. Beginning of Gakuan no Susume reference to the Declaration of Independence. choose um oh i went with used to oh wrong again so much for chia going abroad heck why leave inaba you have so much right here you so annoying yo no more encores i mean hi everyone <laughs> Whoa, more losers? What do I need to know English for? I can always ask for a translator. <laughs> How did you do, senpai? A pet was on fire. Wow, you're amazing. Enough about the exams already. What's going on with the murder case? Hmm. Why don't we head to our special headquarters? We haven't been there in a while. We were literally there yesterday, but you know, go off, I guess. Uh, I'm kind of bummed. Not just because exams are over, but the whole thing with the police finding a suspect. I mean, we believe that only we could solve this case. And now? Well, we still don't know yet. They haven't made an arrest. So, we gotta sit on our thumbs. Yo. Crying out loud. It's nice to have a suspect, but where the hell is he? We're at the end of our rope here. You guys, did, did you hear what I said? Uh, <laughs> this case is as good as solved. Don't worry, kids. It's only a matter of time before we bring in the suspect. I mean... The guy's kidnapping people at random and slaughtering them. We won't rest until we bring him to justice. I gotta get going. Now, I'm really worried. On the other hand, if the police have a search warrant out for the guy, we should stay out of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I just remembered. There was a question on the exam that I didn't get. I think it was the chemical formula HCHO, used for silver mirror reactions. Its 40% solution is known as formalin. And the question was, what is HCHO?
Uh, uh, is it formaldehyde? Oh, I see. I chose acidic acid. Duh, of course it couldn't have been vinegar. Hey, you had that question too, didn't you, Kanji? Shut up. Don't call me by my first name. Wow, kind of harsh, aren't you? I heard you got a nosebleed when you were around our senpai. Hey! Who the hell blabbed about that? Uh, anyways... Risa-chan, why don't you ask Yukiko to help you study? Hmm? Huh? I guess, but wouldn't you rather ask a senpai of the opposite sex? Senpai, I'm not a nuisance to you, am I? Damn! This girl's dangerous! <laughs> well, let's change the subject. Hey, any idea how Teddy's doing? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention it to you. Check this out. Oh, jeez. I let him stay at my place. In return, he's now our official store mascot. Ah, so he's hiding in plain sight. Reverse psychology, huh? Man. He looks like one happy bear. He kept saying that he didn't want to go back, so I made him a deal. Now, since I've got nothing better to do, I'm gonna go bug him. Ooh, I wanna go too! Can I... feel his soft fur? Oh my gosh, Kanji. Hey, Senpai? Piece of shit. Now that I'm getting the hang of school, I wanna go out more and see the sights. But I tend to get recognized everywhere I go, so I'm a little nervous about going out on my own. And you seem like the type of guy who knows all the cool spots in town. <laughs> sure, I'll show you around. Really? Woohoo! That uh, lover's persona. It is the lover's arcana. God damn it. Now cheer you on on all our attacks. Hell yeah. <laughs> to deal encourage your party to deal even more damage. Hell yeah. If you ever have some time to kill, think of me, okay? Now come on, let's go pester Teddy. Teddy, hey! Tonight, we have a special report. Is it just me, or is that fan new? Also, that is one weird-ass fan. It's like... Neon blue, what the fuck? The topic is the bizarre serial murder case in Inaba, where the victims' bodies are discovered hanging upside down. Police have yet to announce any progress in the investigation since the discovery of a third victim. Our special report tonight is a summary of the events and the facts in the case thus far. They still haven't caught him? Not productive. Okay, you promise, right? Purple suit. Plant. 
damage. Sorry, got fishies. two types of corn. Sword, steel plate, hell yeah, photon plate, blackstone nail. <sighs> oh.
first of all, let's equip the corn. Take another bite, my stomach's full. But that really hit the spot. I've been way up wanting to come here. It's a little embarrassing to show up alone, you know? No need out? <laughs> if someone snapped a photo of me doing that, I'd hear it from my agency. Last time I ate out was at a festival when I was still a little kid. Then, it was me and my family. It was fun. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I wanted to do this since I was a child. My parents were actually pretty strict. They didn't really have many friends. Though I guess that couldn't be helped since I hardly ever showed up for school. Er, that's enough talk about that. What a depressing subject, huh? Let's talk about something fun. After all, I don't want to waste the time we have together. It's so great that I came to this town and met you. Really, I'm serious. Enemies affinity at the beginning of battle. Hell yeah. I start by asking what kind of girl you like. Look. Dude, he says so incredibly oh, into me. Oh, not welcome even home, funny. big bro. seen the weather report? This rain's going to lift in the afternoon. They said it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Gopher is already wanted by the police, but he's someone the police can't handle to begin with. Let's check it out. Let everyone else know too, okay? Hey everyone, they posted the test results. All familiar truths. Oh well. Wanna check it out?
got the highest score. It's awesome. Just as happy as I if I get the highest score rate myself. Game closer to your school friends. Hell yeah. Ah, we're finally free. Hey, why don't we go somewhere during summer vacation? My motorcycle's back from the shop. Hey, you guys have motorcycles? Lucky you. Your scooter's fixed? Surprised they got it back together after Hanako senpai, was it? Did something happen with Yosuke and Hanako-san? He's striking out with the ladies and got his scooter busted up. Whoa! Yosuke's after Hanako-san? Uh, I'll back you up. <laughs> I wasn't talking about anything like that. I was saying we should go somewhere over summer vacation, like the beach. It'd be a pain to go by train, but a motorcycle. Hmm, I haven't been to the beach in a long time either. The bright sun, the glistening waves, that luscious scent drifting from nearby stands, the dripping of meat juices. <laughs> <laughs> My god, you're so fucking weird. <laughs> you have me until the dripping of meat juices. Is food all you can think about? Yes. Hey, why don't we get our licenses, too? It's just a written test, right? We can't. We're too young. Oh, sorry, Kanji, but my birthday was last month, so I'm 16 now. Hey, that's cheating! Oh, but sitting behind Senpai sounds great, too. I want to squeeze in close. Dude, you are coming on way too fast. Hop off my deck, please. Yeah, yeah, let me remind you that it's against the law to have two people ride on a motorcycle. <laughs> Yasuke, shut the fuck up. You literally were talking about using this method to score all the pussy. But I think it's a good idea for you guys to get your licenses. It only takes about a week. It's supposed to be for work, but there's a scooter at the end. We got one as a gift at the office that's just sitting around. I bet I could borrow it if I asked. I'd have to call my manager, though. Huh. Is this actually working out? How about you, Chie? A scooter, huh? It can be any kind, as long as it's lower than 50 cc's. Then I might be in luck. One of our relatives loves motorcycles. Maybe he has a scooter I can borrow. Wow, this might really happen! Let's all get our licenses and hit the beach together! Hold up, what about Teddy? Hmm... If he doesn't move around, he could pass his luggage. <sighs> eh, it's stretching a little. It'll be fine. If we can't get him on with one of us, we'll just strap on some wheels and tow him. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Teddy? <laughs> on wheels? <laughs> Roller skates! <laughs> it's perfect! I've made up my mind. I'm gonna get my license. It's really funny because Yukiko is like... Legit, kinda... A bland person. And then she just gets into these laughing vets. The fuck? The beach, huh? I've gone before for pinup shoots, but it's been a while since I went for fun. Oh my gosh, does this mean I'll get to see Reset herself in a swimsuit with my own two eyes? My god, Yasuke, you need to hop off her dick now, too. Can you maybe not talk about her like she's not here? Hey, who are you looking forward to seeing in a swimsuit, senpai? <laughs> Kanji, yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, mine's nothing special. Crotch is thin and built for speed, so... <laughs> <My God. laughs> oh my god. Hold it right there! Why in the world are you interested in Kanji's swimsuit? Cut that out, damn it! 
Dude. You f just to fuck off. You have to get anyway, to fuck looks off. like we're set on going to the beach. Yukiko, Chie, you guys should get your licenses too. Then you can ride motorcycles with us. Well then, let's do this. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. I will say, I am starting to get interested in, uh, in Rise. But you, you can tell that she is crushing on me hard. I really like Chie, but I also am starting to get interested in Risa. God damn it! Hmm. Steak bowl or a combo plate? It's an ultimate decision. Stop it! Shut up, dumbass! Yeah, that's right. We all know it's time to cough it up. What? This? This is it? Quit bullshitting us! Voice. It can't be. Let's go, Bakurakun. Takshi? Hey, someone's here. Whatever. Let's take their money while we're at it. This guy only had a thousand yen on him. Chie! Hey! What are you running for? Gonna hide behind a girl, huh? Are you alright? I'm fine. You've always been good at stuff like this. They took all my money. You're gonna get them for me, right? Well, it does tick me off. Hey, cowards! Ganging up on one guy? You gotta be ashamed. Take care of them for me. Uh, wait! Uh, wow. That was fast. Sheesh. Come on, what's the matter? Let's throw down. Huh? What's with this bitch? You think you're all that? I can't afraid. I ain't afraid to hit on a girl. We'll kick your ass. These aren't looking good. Huh? Huh? Katakun? Jay seems discontent. What a pain in the ass. Yo, that guy who ran away might call the cops. Screw this, let's go. Hey, hold on, wait! What the heck? Anyway, when you step in... Why'd you butt in? What, you thought you could've... You couldn't leave it up to me? I could've handled that myself! Sorry. I charged him by myself. Caused you trouble. Just think next time. I'm sorry. You're right, huh? I think I remember I'm not alone. It's always like that. Everyone's doing their best. And I start to worry that it's all up to me. I've got to work harder. I worry that someday I'll end up causing even more trouble, like I did today. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Endure a mortal blow during battle. Hell yeah. 
Could have come. Thank you. Um. N never mind. Uh, I need to work harder, huh? Why am I moping? I'll think about it some. Though I I'm not too smart. See you later. Welcome home. Yo, oh. Risei. Surprised to see you here at this hour. Just helping clean up the store. Just finished, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah I got to spend time with you. <laughs> I finally started getting used to helping out at the tofu shop. I was really awful at it at first. You don't want to know how much tofu I ruined. I kept squeezing too hard, probably because I was so nervous handling it. Okay, this is... God fucking damn it, Rise. Stop! Oh, but I'm a pro now. Don't you think I look like a natural when I'm in there? <laughs> Tune your own horn a bit, huh? Ah, uh, it's okay. You're allowed to brag if you know you can back it up. Jeez. I'll have you recognizing my skills someday. Just you watch. Until just a little while ago, we used to have crumbled tofu for dinner every night. I love tofu, but I ate so much of it that it started to haunt my dreams. Oh wow, it's not late already? S sorry, I gotta get back. Before I go, give me your hand, Senpai. I want you to have it, Senpai. A long j- The girl just gave me some Viagra. Are you fucking kidding me? This girl will go be my future wife, let me tell you right now. <laughs> Surprise present, did I get you? Uh, well, good night, senpai. Okay, cool. Good night, senpai. Oh my gosh. Too bad it's raining. Forecast said that it was going to last until the evening. Oh, it'll let up by tomorrow morning. I wonder if we'll have a nice, clear summer sky tomorrow. Oh, well, uh, it's not like I had any plans or anything. I guess I could watch Tanaka's amazing commodities and see if there's anything I want. I don't know what it is about that show, but I always end up buying something. It's that one that goes... Over the where waves to you. Have you seen it? All right. I understand that you're all excited about the vacation week, but we're having the end of term assembly in the gym now. I won't say anything mean like someone I know, but please do what you're told. I'm excited about the summer vacation too. I already bought my swimsuit. Not that it's got that much material to call it a swimsuit. Can you stop? Can you? You are my teacher. Stop. Well, enjoy your summer vacation, everyone. Oh, and don't forget to do your homework, okay? You will never be what's her face. The, the good teacher from uh the 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 persona five good teacher the one with the the, the curly hair and the the, the 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 secret maid 
Oh my god, I completely forgot she was a mage! <laughs> oh god. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Nobody wants to hang out with me. Okay, what's your deal? Why would I ask her out? What? With you? Stare at you intently. Whatever. You should skip your afternoon classes next time. We'll go somewhere far away. With your overabundant courage, you're able to slip out of class with ease. I'll invite you to come with me when I feel like it. Okay, sure. <laughs> God damn it, what did I get myself into? Alright, uh. can't go and eat cuz I'm a broke ass bitch so guess we'll go uh, a riding Yeah, it'll be nice. <laughs> After getting completely lost, stumbled upon the ro road to school, bam. But you feel as if you're starting to get a feel for the place. I need to ride around a little more to get a better acquainted with the area. Welcome back. Alright. Thank you, Nanako. Midnight channel time. Where are your sheets and your mattress pad? Mattress pad is right here. My sheets are right here. <laughs> oh, hello. I want. Let me move you my microphone first. Man, one of the perks of still living with my parents. God. Boy is standing with his back against a wall. I. I feel like I've seen that face before. No idea who you are. You all think you can see me? You all think you know everything about me? <laughs> Try and catch me. Leroy, go lie down. Please don't whine in my face right now. Hey, did you see that? Where was that guy? I don't know him. Have you ever seen him on the news or some television 
special? He seemed really gloomy. Like a zombie. Yosuke! Yosuke! All right already, I hear you! Sorry, I'm gonna give the phone to Ted. Sensei, it's me, Teddy! I finally got to see the Midnight Channel with my own eyes. Now I know exactly what's happening. That guy's suppressed emotions are resonating with the other side, which are picked up by the TVs over here. It's clear now that it's not being filmed by anyone. Mystery solved. But that kid, he must already be inside the other world. What are we gonna do? Going in. Gotcha. I knew I could count on you, Sensei. I think my heart skipped a beat. That's enough, Ted. Give me the phone. Hey, how could he be already inside? What happened to the blurry image that we usually see in advance? And did you hear what he said? Try and catch me. <sighs> now that I think about it, he looked like a high schooler. Hey, could he be... Nah, I better not jump to conclusions. Let's meet up at headquarters tomorrow. All right? Later. GA. Oh, I finally got through. Yosuke's line was busy, too. I was just talking to Yukiko. Was that... Capture your conversation with Yosuke and Teddy for... Yeah, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Well, we better get some rest. Good night. Okay, Risa and Teddy are checking out the other side. So we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Now about what happened last night. You guys all saw it, right? Yeah. Shit he said made my blood boil. That mumbling of his and those fish-like eyes pissed me off even more. Who the hell is he? Oh my gosh, Leroy. What is going on? Truth to tell, I get the feeling I've seen him before. Yeah, I know. I was surprised when I saw how clearly his face showed on TV. So I called Chie, and while we were talking, it hit me. Maybe that boy is the culprit. It's just a hunch, but it makes sense. We've been told the suspect is a high schooler. The police are after him for the murder of King Moron. So to see that on TV last night, at a time like this... I mean, he even taunted the viewers, saying, try and catch me. Uh, so? All right. Let's say there's this high school student. We'll call him Shin. For some random reason, who knows why, Shin is able to enter the other world. Then Shin, again for some random reason, starts throwing people into that world intending to kill them. The police can't prove the other world exists, so it's the perfect crime. He can't possibly be caught. Now, imagine you're Shin, but after a while, people stop dying when you throw them in the TV. You don't know why. You want to kill King Moron, but the TV is out, so you have to do it personally. Now the police are on to you. As a result, you, I mean Shin, 
is a wanted criminal, and there's no place for him to run. So, you're saying he went into the other world to dodge the cops? Oh, so that's why he said, catch me if you can. <laughs> wow, senpai, you're smarter than you look. Jeez, you can piss me off sometimes. We still don't know why he targeted people who were shown on TV. But, if he had a personal grudge against Mr. Moraoka, that explains one thing. With a strong enough motive, wouldn't he forsake the untraceable TV method and try to kill Mr. Moraoka on his own? If you think about it that way, it sort of makes sense why Mr. Moraoka died without appearing on TV. But I wonder what that boy's going to do now that he's in there. With Teddy on this side, there's no way for him to get out. You don't think he's gonna get desperate and end it all? He did look depressed, like it was the end of the world. No, I don't think that's it. The killer has to know that the people he threw into the TV have come back to this side. I can see missing Yukiko or Kanji, but Rise, a celebrity? There's no way the killer wouldn't know she's still alive. So that means he knows there's a way out of the TV world. As for the rest, we'll just have to ask him face to face. Hey, good timing. How did it go? Not good. There's not enough information to go on. But at least we're positive that someone's in there. I see. Wait, where's Teddy? He's still looking. All right. So we need to find out who that guy is, and if he is in fact the one the police are after. Once we figure that out, we just do our thing. That's right. If he really is the killer and he's escaped into the other world, the police don't have a chance of catching him. So it's all on us. Well then, let's get digging. No, my favorite thing. My favorite thing to go and ask around if people know of a guy. I did. Let's try the floodplain. Uh, ask every single person.
So I guess I just have to wait until Dojima is available.
gosh, Detective Daddy, come on. At least my would want to just have a high score or something. No. Oh. Told you not to stick your neck into things. There's no way I'd tell you. Where did that tragic go? Alright, time to find a dachi then. She just, you know, wandered off there. Maybe a king. And 
now Dojima isn't there. What the fuck? Dachi, my bro. Suspect? If I tell you, will you keep secret quiet? Okay, then I'll just tie myself here, but supposedly had a part time job in the shopping district. Where was it? Oh, I don't think they told me that much. So, shopping district.
Remember, he had black eyes. What else? Oh, yeah. He said the person who worked here before him was his classmate during middle school. See that kid? His classmate around here all sometimes. Maybe you should talk to him when you see him. I don't know if you'll find him today, but he recently dyed his hair golden brown, so he should be easy spot. Feast. Me a paper armband. They handed this out at school. They said to give it to our parents. He has only written on it. Parent survey regarding the scheduling of parent teacher interviews. They said to have our parents write down when they can visit the school. Dad's always working, so mm. he can't come, huh? I'll ask him with you. Really? Thanks, big bro. I'll give this to Dad. I'll ask him to come. <laughs> Glad I asked you. He'll come, right? Since he's my real dad. Big bro, did you have parent-teacher interviews, too? Were you nervous? Not So we'll go Maniki Neko then.
Oh, I'm the only one that can wear the armband? I am. Well, I kinda have to now. <laughs> Sharp shovel.
guess not today. Maybe he'll be out in the night. Maybe. Cool. Finally. Are we 
Everyone's here, right? I'll do my very best! That's him, all right. It's definitely the guy on the Midnight Channel. It's settled, then. He is the killer. And he's in here now. This guy came to our shop before. Was he... Spying on me? Oh my god, I really was being targeted. Damn it! Freaking punk! Hey, I've seen him before too! Hmm. Oh, now I remember! Yukiko, it's that one guy! That one guy? Back in April, remember? He suddenly came and started hitting on you? Oh, him! The dude who got served by Yukiko in front of the school! Man, Chie, how'd you remember something like that? Well, that was the first time he talked to her, but I remember he was always following her around. Um, sorry, who are we talking about? The dude who came right up to you at the school gates and called you Yuki? Oh, um, uh, really? Wait, did he kidnap Yukiko to get back at her for rejecting him? Um, I didn't really reject him. He came up to me while I was busy working and asked, Don't the biker gangs bother you? Just going on and on about how biker gangs can't do anything unless they're in a pack and stuff. He seemed to be the type who just keeps talking whether you like it or not, if that makes sense. I usually treat those people politely so they don't get offended, but I was so tired that I kind of ignored him. Was that why I was kidnapped? Huh? Wait, I I'm not a biker. Ugh, that damn special report. So that's why I got dragged into this. You know, I heard he's been saying stuff about that announcer's affair, too. Lots of muttering about how women who cheat on their husbands should be executed. Sounds like it's all coming together. Well, it's time for a showdown. Can you tell where this Mitsuo guy's at? I'll give it a try. Just a sec. Yeah, I found him. He's that way. All right, let's go! We're so close to the killer. We can't lose him now. Uh. What is this? Some kind of game? Well, he did taunt us, saying try and catch me. I guess he thinks of all this as a game. Oh, this pisses me off! I hereby sentence him to a hundred kicks to the face! Let's go! The games begin. Gotta admit, all guys love games. And all girls love Teddy. Oh my god. Call it here for the night. <sighs>